she has gone to shower in the rain. Wait, what are you doing? Where's Maria? They're all going naked. What is this, the naked episode? Talking about blue skies, talking about sunshine, driving with a top down, feeling free, talking about you and me. Hello, all you fabulous and wonderful people. Welcome back to the channel. And if you are new, hello, welcome. And today we are going to be moving out with Antonio and Susan and Catherine. But right now, currently, Antonio and Catherine are at school and work. They get out at three. So, and it's just 10 o'clock, almost 10 o'clock in the morning. So we got a little bit. So last time, in case you missed it, Antonio and Susan did get married and had a wonderful wonderful honeymoon vacation in Solani, which they both really, really enjoyed, specifically the closet. Aside from the coat hangers, that was a thrilling tryst. They both, so they both have that, I believe. Oh, his just went away. He did have it. But um, anyway, so they're very, very, very happy together. Susan is very passionate. Like she is craving woohoo. This honeymoon has put Susan in the mood. Keep your promise. Susan was promised a lot of woohoo. They literally, I think they only woohooed like once, maybe twice. I think once because I couldn't find the interaction on the bed. So they ended up woohooing or actually trying for a baby in the closet. Now she has no mood lids or anything showing that she could be pregnant, but it can take a little bit. It could take a day or so, some day or so. But uh, I, I have a feeling that she might not be because I think she's getting close to having her cycle. I'm not sure though, so I don't know. But Catherine started a food fight in the cafeteria causing most of the students to join in. Oh dear, and they're still cleaning up from it. What a natural leader. This will raise her empathy. She could, she should help clean, that's her responsibility. I think I'm gonna go with this. I don't know which one she needs. She probably needs empathy, but I feel like Susan would definitely say, hey, make her clean it, make her help out so there we are oh dear what is felicia doing what is she doing she's going to shower in the rain she has gone to shower in the rain she is deaf with her ear muffs on wow okay okay and there's people coming by wow okay i think you need to stop and go get yourself something to eat wait what are you doing Oh, I think she's gonna go have some self woohoo. No, cause she's so passionate. She's so passionate. Oh dear. No, 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 no self woohoo. Save that for your husband. Anyways, um, we have to keep these Sims literally busy or they start doing crazy things on their own. So I think I would like to have them. They'll probably have a bunch of kids, not a bunch, but you know, a, a pretty good size. But I also am thinking that Maria here maybe needs to have a baby down the line. Let's see, what is she? She, she is almost an adult. She's got 10 days until she's gonna be an adult. So I'm thinking maybe in her adulthood, she accidentally gets pregnant. I really like the storyline of her possibly being gay and finding somebody and then they just live as housemates or whatever because you know, that wasn't really a thing at the time. We are gonna be going into the 60s, which in the late 60s, in 1969, we did have the, you know, homosexuality was getting more accepted and they were were, you know coming out more so maybe later that time she will come out but before then I do at least want her to have one and definitely Felicia have at least one and maybe she's similar to Susan I see Felicia more as settling down with a husband and having a couple of kids I feel like Maria may have had that one moment where you know she she didn't know maybe that she was gay and that she you know was all for men I mean I, I definitely want her to kind of to feel that out we'll have her see and all that but she's just streaking now susan oh dear we have to uh change your outfit you're standing naked oh yeah and felicia's freaking out she's like girl i know we're all ladies around this house but um could you put some clothes on perhaps oh uh, we also do need to get felicia a job so i was thinking about this it seemed like half of you guys really think she should go into the actress career and the other half you know maybe like nursing now i know nursing of course isn't in the game which i don't know why it's not it really should be but there 
are a few mods I have found that add in nursing. So I definitely like the nursing option. So I was thinking, where's Maria? They're all going naked. What is this, the naked episode? I don't understand. She's going to shower in the rain as well. I mean, it is getting close to the 60s, right? It was in Woodstock in the 60s. It was that the 70s? I don't know, but it was, they're getting free with their bodies, I guess, today. But as I was saying, I'm just gonna let her be. I just really don't care. You can do what you want, I guess. But what I was thinking is that with Felicia, we could have her start down the entertainment route, like, or, you know, actress. But maybe she starts down that way and then realizes that it's not a stable job, that maybe she should find something a little bit more stable and goes into nursing. So we'll just kind of have to feel that out. They seem to be getting stuck in the nude and I have to put clothes on them. It is almost three in the afternoon and it looks like Felicia's gone up for a nap. Antonio has brought home 432 simoleons today. He did some great work. Catherine is, do is done with school. She's doing satisfactory work. Okay, she needs to work on her grades because she's not doing as good as she should be. Let's see, where is hers? She is a C student. Yeah, we're definitely gonna work on hers. But right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and have the move out those three. We're gonna split from the house. I almost forgot about this. I came in here when I was getting the packing crate I know, and moving them in the last episode, we packed up our things. I did notice we have a number of things in our inventory. I think these are wedding gifts. So I'm gonna sell these because well, I don't think they had microwaves just yet um, in this time period. But I don't think we can use them anyways in the rules. We'll see, I'm pretty sure. So we're just gonna sell these things. Oh, system error. Why can I not? Um, I believe it's unlocked, so we will sell it and get a new one for his medals. We'll just have to buy a new one. That that gave us a bit more. So the house is just under 52,000, I believe. So we're gonna go ahead and split from household and move. Okay, so the new household is gonna be uh, Susan and Antonio and Catherine. And we are going to just give them, I think we'll just take like 65, 65,000. I will leave them with 5,000 simoleons. Cause I don't think they're gonna need that much and that will give Susan and Antonio close to 13,000 simoleons I think I can't do math yeah it'll give them about 13,000 um left over after buying the house so we'll give them 65 and they're left with the 5,000 I think that's pretty good I did place it in the beautiful Willow Creek which is the place where we started this challenge we started out here in Willow Creek and I just really think Willow Creek is so pretty like especially in the winter time I just oh it's so pretty so it is winter so we don't, I didn't plant anything outside. I do have plans on planting like shrubs and stuff. I did put around this garage. I made this garage. I think it's really cute. Of course they've decorated apparently for holiday. Um, I don't know what holiday, it must've been old holiday, but here's a little garage with a breezeway. Oh, I should show you really, really quick here, guys. I did take inspiration from a real life 50s ranch style home. So let me show you really quick. So you kind of have an idea of what I was trying to do here. Okay, so I actually Googled um, 1950s house plans and it brought up a lot of ranch style homes because in the 50s, that's when we started seeing a lot more ranch style homes. I really like the ranch style homes. So th I've I like this one. It seems simple enough for me to build, but this is a four bedroom um, ranch style home. So you have a bedroom here and a bedroom here and over here and here. And then a living room, an entryway, a dining room and a kitchen with a little breakfast nook and two bathrooms. And then you had a, like a little breezeway and a garage. So you can see here in the picture, there's like this garage, a one car garage with a little breezeway through there. Now it's all, it looks like it's all open. Um, it might look, yeah, that's a fence in the back, but it looks like it's all open. So, and like a little arch maybe of flowers there. That's kind of cool. I love all the windows in the living room. I think that is so cool. So this is where I tried to, you know, draw inspiration from and build this. So here we are, we have the one car garage. And instead of putting the little like archway of 
greenery. I just put it on top because it's winter. It doesn't look very green, I know. Okay, so here is the front of the house right here. I like it. I tried to go pretty natural. So we went with the stone and like wood siding, kind of giving it a little bit of a retro feel. Here is the side. Here is the back yard and the back of the house so we're gonna come in here through the front door we're gonna walk like we're going for the first time in the house so we were like really low down to the ground i realized i readjusted the camera a little bit better so we're not so like down in the ground but here is the living room i love these windows so yeah that is the nice big bit picture window and then we have our fireplace over here we can put maybe some book shelves over here and then we'll go over here to the kitchen we're getting close to the 60s so orange the color scheme y'all the color scheme we just talk about the color scheme of the 60s and 70s coming up orange brown green olive green yellows but i went with this like floral they like the flower print i did it as an accent wall i think it looks pretty nice but this is the little dining room i think it's cute and then here is the kitchen so you can see i kind of want with that blue gray and orange and a light yellow uh throughout the house is what we went with but this is the kitchen it comes with you know the stove and fridge and some cupboards why is the mailbox inside the house y'all it was not like this when i left it <laughs> You gotta I'll fix that but anyways this is like the little a little hallway this door goes out to the side um if you could see it that was the garage over there but it's like a little long hallway over here so we have a little bedroom here it's not decorated obviously it doesn't have anything in it it's just basic it's gonna be a kid's room and we'll be changing the paint and stuff on all that and here's the other one that goes is right next to it another bedroom just real small and I believe this is a closet yeah, I did some little closets. I plan I plan on making my own closet. So, I, oh, I forgot to change the color of the doors. Um, they're all gonna be white, so I forgot. So then we have, you can recognize that's the front doorway. But this is a bathroom. The bathrooms were usually either pink, blue, or yellow. So we went with the blue bathtub and blue toilet here, because in the old house we had pink. So we went with the blue, I like it. I had a hard time finding a sink and a counter that fit and would match the bathtub because I wanted it to match. You don't have to. I could have just made it white. It would have been fine. I don't know. I was just trying to be something different. So that is one bathroom one. You can see it's just a, sh a bathtub. Just a bathtub and a toilet and stuff. This one has a shower along with the bathtub. Oh, look, we've got our... Oh, we've got a Mr. Wall. We'll fix this. We'll fix this. But it's basically the same. It's a little bit bigger. I figure this is more like master bathroom-ish, even though Catherine's bedroom room is right here again we have a closet and we kind of went with we went with pink but we went with this different kind of floor patterning i'm not sure if i'm gonna keep it i could end up changing it but she's got lots of windows in here and then this over here is the master bedroom and we again went with pink in the 50s and 60s the pink was really popular in the bedrooms and i just went with an accent wall of the pink flowers but they've got lots of windows here as well just real basic it's just a basic ranch house nothing too fair terrible fancy i'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna unpack and place the furnishings and then show you guys how it looks with some furnishing we were left with just uh a, a, almost 13,000 smolians but we do have our packing crates in our inventories here so we we can look at that we're gonna go ahead and place these things in here and then i'll show you guys what i've got Okay, so I've got it. We are so poor. We are so poor. We have 321 smillions left to our name here. Take these walls down here partially. So here we are. We've got it furnished. This is, is a living room. I think it's okay. It's like a den. I gave him this furniture it's kind of like mid-century kind of more futuristic type so this is the living room also you'll note that there's gonna be over time we're gonna be decorating this and you know it's gonna be evolving over time if I fully furnish a house um, in the beginning I tend to get bored really super fast I like having where you have to make money and use that for your decorating or getting better items in the game this is the master bedroom I did end up taking a window out 
out just because the curtains were looking really weird. And while I like a whole wall full of windows, it was just too much. So, and we got this nice little picture going on here. And then over here is little Catherine's bedroom. She actually had quite a, quite, quite a lot of things in here. I think she'll be able to get to this stuff. We'll have to see. I did get her a little fish fishing thing, a fish thing. They all seem to love this fish bowl. So we got that. Also, I did change the carpeting just because when I would put a rug down and I really like having a rug down, it looked really weird. So I just went with this like, it's supposed to be beige, but it, it almost looks pinkish with the lighting in here. It looks kind of pinkish. I like it. This is what we went with with the dining room. Let me bring the walls fully up. You guys can kind of see. I used this whoops <laughs> i used this dining room table because it's mid-century but it's like a few futuristic kind of mid-century and i feel like in the 60s in particular things started to get different shaped and more futuristic towards the end of the 50s and into the 60s and we are going to be going into the 60s here in like a couple of days some days so i went with this and i kept with the orange and blue and brown and i like it and then the curtain over there I ended up taking out a couple windows again because it looked just weird so that's what we have is that and then in the kitchen all I did was put up this table and chairs again pulling for that blue and curtains and then little curtains over here literally didn't have much for anything else it's pretty cohesive throughout the house until you get to the bathroom and bedrooms but you know whatever I tried I got Antonio his little th display case and put his metal in there and then he needs to raise his fitness skill and he is in the military career so he can have fitness equipment I could only afford a punching bag so we just put it in the spare bedroom for now it probably will move as we have kids we'll see for now I like it it's how it is and yeah that's basically that's basically it oh the laundry situation I couldn't figure out where I was going to put the wash and dryer I guess I could have put it here this is supposed to be another closet going to be another closet and these are like little closets as well but this is where I was gonna put the washer and dryer. I ran out of smolion, so we only got the washer, and then I did put a clothesline out back. I didn't do anything here, obviously, because of money. That's basically all that we have now. Okay, that looks better. That was driving me a little bit bonkers. I also realized I don't have any curtains in here, but we'll have to get them over time. Let me point out, it is Tuesday, and it is 3.30. They're gonna get ready for having dinner and stuff, but looky here. So it's Tuesday. We have literally tomorrow, and then we switch the decades over here so the next episode will definitely be switching decades and stuff i just wanted to point that out that the 60s are coming he's like really really tired he has to go to the bathroom but he goes to work in 16 hours he gets he needs one more level of fitness and he also has to go jogging we'll have to have him go jogging while susan is making dinner um well, none of them are hungry <laughs> Okay, well, I guess we will. We'll wait on dinner. And I really wanted to get little Catherine a dog, but we have no money. So we're gonna have to wait on that as well. So we'll have her check that progress. And then she has to do her homework. She needs to start really cracking down here. I could sell these for 120 smolions. You know what? I am. We're gonna go ahead because we need money so bad. We're gonna go ahead and sell these for 120 smolions. Otherwise, I just kind of kept them in here for a little decoration, you know, like storage closet, whatever. But we need the money. So that gave us a little bit more. Okay, so. So, uh, let's see what how she's coming along we actually need to start working on this I feel like since her dad is in the military well stepdad I feel like since her stepdad is in the military her real dad was in the mil military for a little bit obviously that's how he he was killed at war. I feel like she should work on this. She needs to perform dance or exercise activities. Oh, she's almost done with this. She needs to entertain a toddler. Not possible right now. She needs to make someone laugh, take out the trash, we don't have any trash, or help someone with her mom. Okay, she can come over here to her, her mom and make her mom laugh. Look, she's going to cook already. She wants to serve fruit and yogurt parfait. No, just a minute on that. Joke about boogers. Oh God. <laughs> there we go. Got her to laugh. There we got scout badge complete. Yay. So it didn't take that much. Well, it worked. Um, we're gonna have her go ahead. We'll, we'll go collect that badge first of all before I forget about it. She's social level eight. Wow. Catherine's social smarts. 
are getting better every day. Let's have her collect this badge. And then oh, she can do her homework. The honeymoon seems to be making Antonio fall even deeper in love. That is so adorable. And let's check the thermostat. Is it cold in here, I wonder? And Susan has lit the fire. What time is it? It is six. We're gonna go ahead and have her make some supper because they don't have any food. They don't have anything. So she can go ahead. We're just gonna go ahead and have some fried fish maybe what was this oh she fell it's not funny Catherine did not want to fall down oh she fell down that really hurt oh she fell down that poor thing homework champion and i don't know what she brought that in here why did you bring that in there listen just take it here or over here she just, they put those dirty dishes right on that table. I don't know why there's such an issue with this. They're all sitting in their living room. Oh, this looks really nice and cozy. How are you doing? How do you like the nice new home? Isn't it so nice? Oh, look at they're watching some kind of black and white film. Oh, it's so cute. Susan's like, I can't, I gotta go to bed. <laughs> I'm going to bed. You're not. Okay, we'll have her go to head and go to bed. I'm still not seeing any pregnancy moonlets or anything, so I don't think she is pregnant. It is 8.30. Aw, so cute. He's putting his stepdaughter to bed. He's going to tuck her in. Aw, it's so adorable. And now you can go to sleep. And they've all gone to bed in their house, in their nice new house. Okay, so Susan is definitely not pregnant. She just started her period in the middle of the night. Oh, relatable, relatable. So she's going to take care of herself. See, they went to bed so freaking early. But we're going to have him use that and then he can come work out because he does have to go to work in six hours. And I really like that to get, raise that skill. <gasps> you guys, he hates fitness. He hates fitness. I mean, it's kind of fitting because he was forced to go into the military because he, you know, got drafted into the war and he just kind of stayed into the military. Maybe he'll end up switching careers. I don't know. Maybe should we have him switch career? I don't know what he would go into. I hate doing this. Antonio is not enjoying himself right now. Perhaps he should stop what he's doing, but he has to. He has to do it. Oh, we might have to find another job for him. Wow, she's recording the weather, y'all. She's recording the weather right now. She's like... Wednesday, 5 a.m. winter, below zero, cold. <laughs> she needs to get ready for school, so she's gonna have to go to the bathroom and take care of herself. Work for Antonio starts in about one hour. What would you like to do? He can go to work. She's setting the table. She's setting the table. Oh, she's cold. Okay, we're gonna have to turn the heat up. I know it costs more money, but we're gonna have to do that. Okay, so we turned it up a bit, and hopefully that will help. He's going off to work now leaving susan at home to do all the house cleaning which isn't much and little catherine is off to school as well so i think what i'm gonna do is we're gonna go back over to maria and felicia and we're gonna do a little check-in with them and see how they're coming along maria is going to be going to work here in nine hours she hasn't wrote any jokes so she's gonna have to come over here and do that it looks like they had a nice quiet night by themselves. I think I'm gonna have her go ahead and join the actress career. I do really like the idea of her going and working as an actress for a little while and then realizing that that's not what she wants, that she wants a nursing career or something. Maybe we can work it into the Vietnam War that's coming here very fast. I haven't really worked it out yet how I want to do that. I'm gonna be, I'm I'm going to be thinking about that. But I might have Felicia. Maybe that's why Felicia goes into nursing. The women actually weren't drafted into war back now. They were always volunteered as nurses. So maybe we can work it into that. So maybe she does the acting for just a little while, maybe a couple of years, which would be you know, three, four, five sim days. And then she goes into nursing and maybe she's taking this actress career because she's been watching Maria, you know, as a comedian and she really likes that. She really looks up to her cousin. So maybe she just decides she's gonna become an actress and realize it's not for her. So we'll just go ahead and let's take this one, I think. All right, so now we have to look for a gig. Okay, so they have this, this starts Friday. 
this? Oh, they're all on Friday. Okay, I think they have to have it completed by Friday. Is that right? The latest collection. Let's see, Making Music, Salty Suds commercial. Okay, we're gonna go for this commercial, I think. It's 170 to, to 500 simoleons. It's the highest paid one, actually. So we'll go for that one. So we have to have a, a Charisma level two. It starts on Thursday. Oh, it's, it starts on the decade change. Okay. We're gonna have her just come in here, actually. She can come in here and practice her charisma. And she better be right in jokes. Yes, she is. Let's see. Okay, she's got that done. She's all set. She's going to be going to work here in just a little while. Sell all. I don't think we'll plant any more than what we've got because... They're two working girls. I don't think they're gonna have very much time to really, really do any of that. Oh, she's so mad. Oh, cause it's raining. <gasps> she's uncomfortably wet. Oh, blush, 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 blush. She is so mad. She is so mad with me. Oh my God, look at all of this cake, y'all. Look at all this cake. She's like, so here we are, Felicia. It's just the two of us. And Felicia's like, guess what, Maria? You inspired me so much. I've decided to be an actress, so I got a gig. I got a TV commercial starting on Thursday. She's off to work, and poor Felicia's by herself. Maybe she should have the neighbor kid come over. The neighbor kid, he's a full-grown man. Um, Let's see, what did she think about Johnny? Ooh, he's attractive. Let's have him come on over. Sure, Johnny will be right over. Oh God, she's gone to take a shower in the rain. <gasps> No, stop, stop doing that. He's like, oh, wow. She just went by me naked. Um, No, come over here and talk with him. Come over here and why don't you guys sit down, sit and chat here. You like how he sits? So how you doing? How's it going? He's so cool. Now, where are you going? No, you're not going anywhere. <gasps> no, what is going on with this episode? Everybody wants to get naked. I think he was gonna go self. What? Wow. No, okay. Well, we found out really clear. Oh, wow. They Okay, they do not get along at all. All right, just leave. Just leave. Maria's halfway through her opening set when the, the besset, bestest for the headliner staggers out and starts talking over her show, over the show. He's on his third eight-minute solo and the clock is running out. Does Maria cut him short or roll with it to protect the gig? Oh, I feel like she would cut him short. I don't think she would let him do that. Oh, she lost a medium loss. Oh no, the crowd boos and starts throwing things at the stage. Bombarded by lipsticks and lighters, Maria beats a ha hasty retreat backstage where she's properly fired, but oh, she got fired. Fired. Oh no. Wait, did she just lose her job? Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. It says he fired her just from that gig, maybe. No, she's going to knock over. She's so mad. I hate drama. The simp doesn't like conflict or argument. <laughs> And I think she's going, yeah, she's going off to bed. And Maria uh, brought home 200. So she didn't really get fired from her job. Just that gig, apparently. Um, we're going to have her come and get some of this salad that, oh, she's so mad. Flarn. Chased off the stage, lost a gig to a dazed bassist. We didn't do so well. And oh, she's thinking about her mom. It's almost Maria's birthday. Say what? Her birthday is way down here in eight days. Not almost her birthday. It is two in the morning. It's almost three in the morning. And of course, Felicia went to bed early and she's up. She needs to relax with some nice bath soaks of roses. I think what I'm gonna do is she's gonna be going to work here in a little bit. Starts at 12 p.m. on Thursday. It is almost four in the morning. I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. So right now we're with the girls. And so when we come back, we will be with them. It will be the decade, the next episode, we are going to be switching to the 1960s. So I'll give them all a little makeover. We'll change their hair and their clothes. We'll give the house a little makeover. And then we'll probably go with Felicia to work for her first day of work and see if we can get this commercial. But I can't believe it. we are switching, switching to the 1960s. 1960s in the next episode. We also are going to have Love Day here. Hope you guys liked this episode. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed, it would be amazing if you did. And also, don't forget to click the little bell to get notified whenever I have a video go up. And I hope you all have a great rest of your day. And I will see you in the next video. Mm, bye. Talking about